Lewis, welcome to the show. Yeah. Well, thank you. What's going on in St. Bernard? Well, well, we had a whole lot of rain. Uh, it, 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 uh, it, it could have been a whole lot worse than what it was. Uh, um, it looks like it's starting to clear up a little bit, but I think in the last last couple of hours, we probably had close to, I don't know, about four inches of rain. Um, you know, with, with that amount of rainfall coming down in a short period of time, and of course, we have a little bit of street flooding. Um, we have a, a little power outage in certain areas in St. Bernard Parish. I think we've got right around 900 uh, customers that are out of power as we speak. Um, a couple of streets that, that are holding water, There's nothing much further than passing the curve. There's no no threat on getting any water in any, any houses that we know of. Um, we do have all our pump stations up and running right now. The pump operators are going to be in there all night and probably all day tomorrow. Um, but we're asking the residents of St. Bernard Parish to stay, stay put, stay at home. And until we give them, they all clear. Um, I'm sorry, no, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Lewis, with the track that this storm took, it really didn't put much pressure on your levee system at all, did it? No, not at all. And, and tell you the truth, I, I, I thought it was going to put a, a whole lot of pressure on, on the eastern end of St. Bernard Parish and outside the hurricane protection system. We have tire protection levees in, in Delacro and in, in Woodlake and, and Rejo and in and, and a, and a Florida zone area. Uh, and I thought it was going to put a whole lot of pressure on that, and, and we made out really well on, on that end so far. Uh, so, no, I, th I think we we, uh, we dodged the bullet. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at the power outage situation. Seems like y'all did pretty well there, too, huh? Are doing pretty we well so pretty far? We did pretty good with that, you know. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we did really good with that. It's just, just down trees, you know, falling trees that, that, that hit the power lines in certain areas that, that pulled the power out. Uh, and we've been working real close. I mean, the first power outage we had was off of uh, Bayou Road down on Janelle Drive. And we had about 360 houses that was out. And within a half hour, energy, they arrived with, with, with the linemen. And, and we was back up and running in that area within an hour. Uh, so it, it was amazing. Well, then once the wind picks up over 35 miles an hour, you know, them guys can't work. It, it, it's unsafe for them to work. So they, uh, we just got off the landline with them. They, they're going to come back on uh, uh, as soon as the wind dies down. Or if not, they're going to be out first thing at, at daybreak. Yeah, Lewis, uh, uh, I, I know that y'all are in the process of, of your assessment. Y'all didn't put in a curfew or anything, did you? No, we didn't have to. Uh, all our main roadways were, were, were still clear with no debris and no flooded water. Uh, and, and, and even on the eastern end, outside hurricane protection, we didn't have to put a curfew. You know, I'm very impressed with that part. Uh, we, although we did, you know, we have our law enforcement. We have one, one of the greatest sheriffs in the state of Louisiana. Uh, I don't know you did an awesome job yourself. Uh, but they, they had a checkpoint down that way, and everybody that was going in and out, you know, outside hurricane protection, they, they had to go through the checkpoint. Um, I, that was sheriff's department. They, they out riding around, and of course, along with the uh, uh, public works employees out out on the streets and looking, you know, for for flooded streets, uh, things that people are not out looking at that our guys can catch and you know get an eye on that. Lewis, well, so what about if I can ask, what about lift stations? Any problems with those at all, like the other parishes are having? Well, Your sewer as, list as long as you don't lose, if, if you don't lose the power in that area, you okay. But uh, once you lose the power in them sewer lift stations, I mean, you have to get a generator to them and get them up. And we have a, a little over 100 sewer lift stations in St. Bernard Parish. And so far as we speak, we had problems in, in one area with, with the sewer lift station. So because so much of the map is in green and you didn't lose power, you got more than enough generators. That sounds accurate? Uh, yeah, absolutely, yes. Well, not not just the generators. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of our sewer lines are on gravity feed, so okay. that's a major help right there. You know? Absolutely. This man across from me knows some stuff, Lewis. I'll tell you that. He's teaching me stuff during a commercial break.